<laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa here. Hey, can I read you a very famous Christmas story? It's called Towards the Night Before Christmas. Oh, it's one of my favorite books. Towards the Night Before Christmas and all through... Hmm. This book doesn't have any words in it. Can you help me? I think you might. Can you think of one of your favorite books you read at Christmas time or a book about Christmas? Can you even think about the story, Twas the Night Before Christmas? I need your help. If you can think of those words and think of them and bring them to me in your mind on the count of three, we'll see if we can get them inside this book, okay? One, the card. Two, three. Whoa! That was fast. Wow, you must really, really like Christmas. Let's see if I can see the words. Yes, the words are in there now. Twas the night before Christmas and all. Hmm. It's just the words. I like books with words, but I even look like books with pictures in them. Sometimes it's hard to read and sometimes the books help you read, doesn't it? Yes, of course. So this has pictures here, so. Hmm. Oh, I know. Can you help me one more time? Yeah, you were good at the last one. We'll try again. So if you can think of what Christmas means to you, like the Christmas spirit of giving and gifts and joyful things, oh, and being so nice to other people, cleaning up your toys is very special for moms and dads. <laughs> so think of all these nice thoughts and bring that Christmas spirit all together. Can you do it for me and see if we can get some pictures inside this book? Ready? One, think hard. Two, three, whoa! Wow, you guys must really have the Christmas spirit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so happy, you guys. And, I, and look, you brought the pictures in here. Oh, thank you so much. Can we read the story together? Yo, t'was the night before Christmas, went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse. Here he is, there's the mouse. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would be there. <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. So there they are, they're sleeping, they're getting ready to sleep. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang to, from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw out the sash. <laughs> the moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And what to my under, wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. There they are, that's Santa Claus. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a minute, it must be St. Nick. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. <laughs> on Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, and Cupid, and Donard, and Blisson. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> That's what Santa says. <laughs> As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh, full of toys and sick Nicholas too. <laughs> and then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and prowling of each little hoof. <laughs> As I drew in my hand 
and it was turned around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed in old fur, see, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. And a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. <laughs> his eyes, now they twinkled. Yeah, his dimples now merry, his cheeks were like, Roses and his nose like a cherry. <laughs> his draw like mouth was drawn like a bow, and his beard on his chin was white as snow. <laughs> that must be St. Nicholas, yes. And he had a broad face and a little round belly, and it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> He was chubby and plump and a right jolly old elf, and he laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings. Then he turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. <laughs> he sprang to the sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you so much for helping me read my Twas the Night Before Christmas book. You helped me. And can you do me a favor and keep that Christmas spirit alive, thinking good thoughts, doing good deeds? I really appreciate that. Keep that spirit alive. Merry Christmas. And don't forget, leave me some cookies on Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you guys.